So let's discuss the difference between synchronous and asynchronous code. Let's take a basic example of a synchronous code. So I'm gonna console log start finish. And in between these, I'm gonna put another console log, which will say subscribe to roadside coder, which you should if you haven't yet. So if I run this file and yep, you can see this is start, subscribe to roadside coder and finish. So what's happening over here is our code is being executed line by line. So this is an example of a synchronous code. But what about asynchronous code? So if you don't know if a code is inside of a set timeout, it will execute the code after this amount of seconds. So for example, I've given here 1000 milliseconds, that means one second. So if we execute this, you're gonna notice. If it's this, you can, we get start, we get finish, and then we get subscribe to roadside coder. So basically what we're trying to do over here is we're using set timeout to simulate an asynchronous process. So let's say if we were to fetch an API over here, that will also be an asynchronous operation, right? Because let's say if you're trying to fetch to-dos in your to-do application, which comes from the back end, right? So it's gonna execute all of the synchronous code and meanwhile it's fetching that API, it's gonna run all of the code and as soon as this code has finished executing, it's gonna run whatever code that is written inside of the set timeout. So this is basically an example of an asynchronous code.